According to the CDC, more than 1 million Americans are legally blind and 12 million visually impaired. Technology has played a significant role in helping the blind, but we're now on the verge of a true game changer. That's right. It comes in the form of a smartphone app that allows any of us to lend a helping hand. Here's ABC's tech contributor, Tina Trent. Chansey Fleet is legally blind, but that doesn't stop her from getting around. With the help of her guide dog, Ramona, the daily commute to her office in New York City is easy. Still, everyday objects can pose a problem. Today, it's a phone that doesn't yet have braille dots inscribed on the faceplate, rendering the various buttons meaningless to her. But a new app called Be My Eyes is about to shed light on the problem. Be My Eyes uses a video connection to link blind and visually impaired users with volunteers from around the world who are willing to be their eyes whenever the need arises. If you're a blind user, you basically just point your phone's camera at whatever you need help seeing. The app was created by Danish developers Tele Christensen and Hens Jan Vibaya. Vibaya came up with the idea when he realized that many of his blind friends already use the iPhone's video calling feature for assistance. But they always had to call someone. And that's where I came up with the idea that we should make a, a course of uh, volunteers who could answer such a call. Back in New York, Chansey dials up a volunteer who helps her navigate the phone's faceplate. The bottom left button is speaker. Oh, great. That's right this is speaker right there? My finger's on it? Okay, what's in the middle? This is volume. Now that she knows where certain buttons are located, she uses a brailler to emboss the faceplate with braille dots. All right, we got it. Mission accomplished. Oh, Thank you. You're welcome. At last count, over 12,000 blind users had downloaded the app, compared to nearly 134,000 volunteering to be their eyes. We are totally uh, blown away by the uh, how people had to react and how uh, how positive it was. For Chansey, the app makes her life that much simpler. If you're blind, you can't read a label or a control or an image or a symbol. And it's not a showstopper. Whatever happens, we go on with our day and we make do. Sometimes that means asking a friend or a family member or a person in a store. This app, though, just makes things quicker, easier, more efficient. And for volunteers, it's a surprisingly simple way to make a difference. Sir, have a great day. And our tech guru, Tina Trin, joins us now. Hey, it's so incredible, Tina. I mean, you kind of wonder yeah. what happened before this technology for blind people. Exactly. I mean, there are apps out on the market right now that are geared towards blind people, and they do very specific things, but this is the first one that lets everyday ordinary people help out. And I think you see it in the response. It's been amazing, a lot of people getting on board. And anybody can be of service? Anybody can help out. You just sign up, download the app, and you're ready to go. You can be contacted at any point, but not after 10 p.m. But, <laughs> but be ready to lend your eyes and, and make a difference. I'd love it. Make a real difference for folks who Absolutely. are sight impaired. Sounds wonderful, Tina. Thank you so much.